Zany friends, welcome to the October Owl Crate, and I am so excited. So excited. I, I am intrigued. He is. Sure. Uh, so this is the uh, Owl Crate box. If you don't know what it is, it is a monthly subscription box uh, that is full of things that are book related, book themed, and also a book. Because why not? Um, we've gotten this one month before, and uh, I this year i think we got it a couple times last year and uh both of us i think we're like yeah we like this stuff in this let's continue to get this because it's because yes mm -hmm. <laughs> yes mm -hmm. so this month uh the theme is uh, a glorious haunting and can we just talk about the card how cute is this yeah. it's like very <laughs> Haunt, modern Haunted Mansion kind of style uh -huh. of things. I like that. I, I have started putting these cards up on our little cork board in our office where mm -hmm. Marshall's head just went. Um, and uh, we put it up there because I just, I love, I, I just love it. I love the, uh, the graphics. Um, so we're going to talk about the things inside of the crate and whatnot. Ah, great. <laughs> we have a blanket. So while he's unfurling the blanket this uh it says michelle gray designed this flannel blanket featuring the full text of edgar Allan po poe's the raven to be the perfect cozy companion to have upon a midnight dreary now we're just wondering how to track blankets on goodreads because mm. you could read the whole thing uh i like blankets a lot downstairs is very cold in our house but we live in florida so blankets are not something that like we need a lot of but i'm glad that it's kind of a small one and that we mm -hmm. can use it and i like the theme i think it's I pretty think so. cool. cool yeah although there are i'm just gonna be honest there are certain parts of this where the words are a little smudged but yeah not but a that, deal that, breaker yeah, yeah. I, I also really like the actual raven illustration that's on yeah. there that's yeah cool. that's usable I'm, i like it we've got uh this yes so stir some gothic vibes into your next cuppa with our stainless steel skull spoons inspired by the bone houses sometimes this is a little hard to read because it's red on black the bone houses uh this is a really cute spoon set i mean i don't know what i would use it for just because there's holes inside of the spoons but I would use it, I think. Um, there are three different colors. One of them is like a gold color. One of them is like this platinum black color. And then one of them is the silver color, which I think is kind of cool. What are your thoughts I on those? I really like these. When I first saw them, I'm like, what? Huh? Oh, there's skull spoons. Very interesting. <laughs> it's really great for your like seasonal gathering. Sure. Right. Sure. Or for just, you know, telegraphing that you're poisoning somebody. Of course. I always have to do that. Of course. Um, Oh, hey, black flame candle, yes. no virgins allowed. Novelly yours whipped up something extra magical in their cauldrons with this black flame candle. Light it up and settle in to watch Hocus Pocus for the millionth time. Yeah. They know us. It's like a caramel vanilla, um, all about it. Vanilla My only complaint is that it could be bigger. <laughs> vanilla and bourbon. Oh. Yeah, the bourbon is probably the caramel mm -hmm. smell, yep. but it's so good. And yes, it is black on the inside, in case you were wondering. I'm loving that. That is some good stuff right there. Light that up in our office. Mm -hmm. We have a tiny envelope. Yes. And then the tiny envelope is a bookmark. Yes. I am so excited to use this, by the way. This is one of my favorite things in the box. It says, Lapels and Spells, that's the name of the company, how cute is that? Designed this death before DNF. <laughs> Love it. Death before DNF enamel bookmark that's perfect for marking your place in our, your seasonally spooky reads. DNF equals an acronym used in book reviews that indicates a book that you did not finish, just in case you didn't know. Um, but I love this and I can't wait to use this. So uh, if you can't see it from that distance, on one side it is a coffin with a skeleton in it, and the other side it's a planchette from a Ouija board that says death before DV DNF. That's so cute. I love it. A pin. Yes. Because you need pin. Yes. And this one has 
a kind of a Victorian lady's hand holding a rope. The pin actually is inspired by the book that's in the box and it's made by the Pickety Witch and there's like this really amazing like little rose mm -hmm. uh, accent on it. It's so cool. I mm -hmm. love this pin so much. I also like how the sleeve has this pattern built onto it mm -hmm. that looks like rose stems. Yes, it That's does. That's really kind of cool. It does. Sleepy Hollow, an Owl Crate exclusive pumpkin spice lip balm. Nothing screams autumn like surrounding yourself with pumpkin spice goodies. Like, can we ever get enough of pumpkin spice? I don't like the taste, but mm -hmm. I like the smell. Uh, so they got the Sleepy Hollow inspired lip balm that Fiction Bath Company created exclusively for this box. We has a book. And it's horrid. So this actually has a uh, alt exclusive cover. Um, the other one I think has like black roses on their eyes, but let's let me talk a little bit about this book. So Autumn TBRs deserve atmospheric haunting reads and with its spine chilling elements, Horrid totally delivers. Set in a dilapidated New England manor house, this contemporary horror story explores themes of mental illness, rage, and grief. Our signed edition features an exclusive cover and author letter from Katrina Leno. Turn your dust jacket to the reverse side to see the exclusive artwork and Rena illustration created for our edition. So I haven't unpacked it yet because it's still wrapped in plastic, but on the back side is included the author letter um, on a piece of paper so you can take that out. Um, but this one actually, this cover is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, I will probably keep this book just for the cover because yeah. it's so pretty. Um, but I'm interested to read it. I think it's going to be perfect for this type of year. Like... So much fall vibes, yes. Mm -hmm. So next month, the theme of the box, actually this is the September box, what am I even saying? I don't know. I don't know. So the October box, the theme is legends and lore. And what's really cool about this box that's coming up is that there is a designer who creates cool like patterns almost like for use in fabric and one of the items is going to have this fabric so let me show you this because i don't know if you can see like this and then the three pictures are all designed by this person and i am all about this kind of fabric mm -hmm. i love the designs i've never heard of this person before uh, her name is janine lacour but i am excited so I'm, I'm glad that we're going to continue to get this box especially with legends and lore it seems to be very like fantasy, maybe medieval mm -hmm. in nature theme, which is interesting for October. Well, what I think that they're doing is they're sending out the box before the month that it belongs in right. so that you have the book to read during the month. Right. So no, it would be more of a November book, which I can totally yeah. get behind. So I can't wait for December's then. Ooh. What do you think of what's in the box? What do I think of what's in the box? Okay, so I really like the, uh, I like the blankie. <laughs> okay. And I also think the book is going to be interesting. I'm really interested in seeing that. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, um, I know we're going to smell good with the candle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I have no real full opinions of the bookmark because I'm never going to get to use it. No, I will steal that sucker away. <laughs> I mean, I pay for the box, so... Exactly. <laughs> I get what I want. <laughs> she always gets first pick, so... Uh, I'm just like, okay, I already know I'm not getting that one. <laughs> so true. But that also means that it does a very good job of getting what she wants. It's true. That's important. That is important. Anyway, thank you so much for watching our Owl Crate uh, box content unboxing unboxing if there is a box that you think is really interesting that you think we should try please comment below and let us know so thank you so much for watching and until next time stay zany bye bye